I'm a G.I. Joe Crusader! Forget the satellite, we got a bigger bird to fry! Nobody needs G.I. Joe! Yo, Joes, space is the place for today's review because it's for the 1989 G.I. Joe Crusader Space Shuttle. Holy Toledo, look at that! What makes this particular Crusader special to me is that it was a gift from a friend. Thanks again, Matt. I appreciate it more than words can express. The box is pretty big, even in the hands of a fully grown adult. It features a beautiful depiction of the shuttle orbiting Earth, with its bay doors open revealing the Avenger Scout craft. Artwork by legendary G.I. Joe box artist Doug Hart, who, by the way, has just been recalled to active duty by my pal Carson from 3D Joe's to provide card art for the Operation Recall figures. And a look inside the cargo bay. And there's Payload version 2 going for a spacewalk secured to the Crusader with the umbilical cord. Original retail price, at this store at least, $32.83 an affordable alternative to everyone who wasn't able to afford the Defiant two years prior in 87. As with many of the larger Joe and Cobra vehicles, rather than a color photo on the back of the box, there's a black and white, and red, diagram detailing its play features. Matt also included all the original paperwork. The 89 flip-out catalog, Tiger Force was in full force that year, and some other great vehicles showing that there was still plenty of rocket fuel in G.I. Joe's tank as the 90s approached. And what helped set G.I. Joe vehicles apart from all other toy lines, the blueprints. Adding a sense of realism and attention to detail that most other toy vehicles lacked. Plus, Payload's file card, which was a separate cutout included in the box, rather than having to snip it out from the back of the box, like with the smaller vehicles. And speaking of paperwork, the Crusader was featured in G.I. Joe's Special Missions issue number 28, which was the final issue of Special Missions. It's featured on the cover, and to get it airborne, it's launched from the Defiant Crawler. Payload, who, unlike the figure, was featured with black hair and a mustache in an earlier issue, is now African American. More than just a scout craft, Slipstream shows that it's not the ship, but the pilot behind the stick that counts, and shoots down a condor in the Avenger, saving old what's-his-name's bacon. Payload would have been great at the Top Gun game for NES. He has no issues landing the Crusader on the deck of the flag. And the Crusader has the honor of not only gracing the cover of the final issue of Special Missions, but also the final illustrated page. The Sunbow Show ended by 89, and it never made any appearances on the Deke series, but the Crusader was animated for a few seconds in the commercial for Special Missions number 28. Will the Crusader stop the Commodore? Find out in Marvel Comics! The Crusader, a repaint and retool of the shuttle that was included with the 87 Defiant Space Shuttle Complex, included a repaint of the Defiance pilot. Payload version 2 included the same helmet and backpack, but had a different color scheme. The info on the file card was identical to the one that was included with the Defiant. Codename, Payload, Astronaut. File name, Morgan Mark Jr. Primary military specialty, Astronaut. Secondary military specialty, Fixed Wing Pilot. Birthplace, Cape Canaveral, Florida. Grade, 06, Colonel. Payload grew up watching the early space shots blasting off through the Florida sky. He stared through the hurricane fence and rode that flaming booster in his dreams. But unlike others, he worked on making that dream a reality by joining the Air Force. He flew F-4 Phantoms over Southeast Asia for three tours, just paying his dues. And upon his return stateside, signed up for the astronaut training program. And the quote reads, Here's a guy who has spent most of his waking hours working on getting himself into space. Sometimes, as he's executing a complicated maneuver in free fall or when he's cutting in his boosters, he seems to be chanting softly under his breath. If you turn up the volume on the ship to ship channel and listen very carefully, you can hear him quite clearly. Vroom, vroom. The helmet featured a clear visor and snapped securely in place. And the backpack featured a pair of movable arms, which his hands could grab onto. No clearance issues in the cockpit, figures could easily fit in any of the three seats. And the front seat had control sticks on either side that the pilot could hold onto. Fitted for space duty, and an astronaut team with the right stuff. Space isn't for everyone. No! 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 
Only those with nerves of steel and guts of titanium can withstand the physical rigors of the trip. Oh, this ain't for me. For this mission, I've selected Roadblock and Flash. No seat belts required here. Like on Star Trek, the crew simply needs to hold on to instrumentation panels if there's any turbulence. In space, only the strong survive. No offense. I'll stay on Earth and settle for weaker. Unlike on the Defiant, the Crusader's cockpit cover is a removable piece, which clips in place to seal it. This bird has plenty of boost in the back to get into space. All it needs is the right angle. So like in the Special Missions comic, we'll need to enlist the help of the Defiant Crawler for the launch. To get it ready, the three landing gear need to be retracted. The Defiant shuttle has a metal bar underneath the front that secures to the booster, but this piece was omitted from the Crusader. It just has a black plastic panel in its place. So although the Crusader can still secure to the bottom of the booster on these pair of hooks, just like the Defiant shuttle can, the lack of metal bar means it can't secure at the top. It can still rest against the booster, but extra care should be taken when moving the gantry around. That is, if you're even able to move the gantry. It takes quite a bit of muscle to transport this thing. The other exterior differences are aesthetic. Different color booster jets, fins, cargo bay doors, canopy cover, and windows. I've just received word that there's a downed satellite in orbit, so let's finish the rest of this review. Live and direct from space! Prepare for launch! Start the countdown. Three, two, one. We have ignition. Come on. Go, you portal jumpers! black exterior goes really nicely with the black and white of space and stars. This is a maintenance mission, but if Cobra decides to show up and start trouble, the Crusader is armed with a pair of retractable cannons on either side. It may look a lot like the Defiant shuttle, but what's inside is quite different. I'll check out the cargo bay. Instead of the Defiant's ultra-fragile robotic arm, the Crusader houses the Avenger Scout Craft. Oh, brilliant! It's a recolor of the Cobra Night Raven's drone, so it's unfortunately ill-fitted for most spacesuit-wearing Joes. If the awesome power of Roadblock isn't able to wedge someone into there, chances are you won't have much luck either. Luckily, it looks like we had a stowaway on this mission. Ace snuck aboard in the crapper. With his more lithe build, he's able to just narrowly fit inside the Avenger. I always thought Ace's suit looked more like a spacesuit than a jet flight suit anyways. The Avenger is also equipped with a pair of cannons to provide cover if the Crusader comes under attack. Like the Defiant shuttle, the Crusader also has an airlock port, providing access to the Defiant booster in space station mode, or another entry and exit point from the Crusader for spacewalks. The cargo bay also has a port to connect an umbilical cord, which can attach to payload's backpack. This is what zero gravity is like. Your stomach and your mouth trade places, and your brains feel like soggy cotton. Many of these original umbilical cords ended up breaking since it was just a copper wire with plastic sheath. But luckily, some 10 gauge electrical wire from Home Depot will do the trick, with a bit of tape or glue on the ends to tighten up the connection. The originally included umbilical cord was about 13 inches long. Okay, now for the mission. Colonel, we've spotted the down satellite. Retrieve and repair. Roger. Fred. Huh? I'm sick of hearing about Roger. That's good. Nice and easy. He should be as good as new after guzzling down an Energon cube. Hey! I got control back! All right! Well done, Joes. Contact with the satellite has been re-established. Dock the Avenger and head home. Have a safe journey, Joes. Godspeed.